Beast Chapter 946. This dude, Luffy, is about to fight Big Mom in his training. Man, I promise you, man. I, I was I was about to I was about to quit reading. I said, man, I'm done for I'm done for the night, man. I'm not gonna read anymore. I'm not gonna record anymore. Oda comes through and has that cliffhanger in and god damn man. Like Oda's cliffhanger game these last few chapters has been absolutely on point, man. Like you open up, you're thinking you're gonna see like a pretty decent fight with Big Mom and Queen. Big Mom takes Queen out in two hits, and it's just like, oh, okay, Big Mom, okay, hey, she's going to go for the food. You're thinking everything's good. And Luffy opens up his big-ass mouth, and it's just like, what the fuck, dude? Like, Big Mom's like, I just wanted to take this food back to everybody. Everybody's being so nice to me. I'm like, oh, shit, she legitimately does not have our memory. And you get this moment where Luffy's like, oh, shit, I said that out loud. I was only thinking. Everybody's like, you shut up. Don't say anything. All of a sudden, Big Mom's swinging down the fist. Luffy's jumping all over the place. I'm like, oh, shit, we're going to see it. Luffy versus, versus Big Mom, the fight that we need to see. And you get this moment where, like, Luffy's jumping all over the place and He's realizing that the closer he's getting to the edge, like those collars don't go off. And so now you're getting like a real sense of danger and the stakes are being raised. And it's just like, at no point do you think that Luffy can stay on that actual platform and get into a sumo wrestling match with Big Mom. It's not going to happen by default. She's big enough. She's going to knock this motherfucker off the platform. It just is what it is. Like Big Mom's boobs are probably the size of a fucking mountain at this point. Like she's a big bitch. But the fact is, is that like Luffy, Luffy is he's getting swung all over the place. He's up in the air. He realizes that the old man's about to have his head blown off. And Luffy, and this shows you like Oda saying like, hey, he is going to be very important down the line. Luffy unconsciously taps into that ability with the hockey and Luffy is able to destroy those collars that are around his neck that are similar to what the Celestial Dragons had. And so I like how Luffy breaks those collars off and you just get this moment where the chapter ends and like Big Mom, Big Mom's swinging down towards Luffy and Luffy says, okay, this is the power of an emperor of a sea. And so I like how like Luffy, if I'm not mistaken, it was Luffy that made that statement, call himself an emperor of the sea. But what I like, though, what I like is, is the fact that, you know, this is acknowledgement where you have two of the five emperors that are going at it. And so I thought that this was good. And I got to say, man, I got to say, like, when it comes to just the pacing, once everything went to hell in a handbasket and Big Mom is just hitting Luffy with the rage face, her eyes are whited out, she's sneering. Chopper makes the line where Chopper's like, I can't believe it. As soon as I find Luffy... Luffy's in the thick of everything all over again and you know Oda mixes in the comedy and everything and this is one of those things where like it's a it's a brawler chapter but it isn't a brawler chapter it just feels like the whole chapter was just non-stop action because of everything that happened but when you look at it Big Mom's taking dudes out in a couple of hits she goes on a little miniature rampage and then you're thinking okay when she finds out there's no food there maybe she goes in uh, hunger pains I'm thinking it's gonna be hunger pains Big Mom versus Luffy I'm thinking this is gonna be some knockdown stuff and it's not hunger pain. She's actually fighting because she's thinking she's going to do the good thing. And I have a sneaking suspicion. I might be wrong. But I have a sneaking suspicion that just as Luffy was able to knock Kaido sober, I'm thinking Luffy's going to knock the memories back into Big Mom. If that happens, I'm going to laugh my ass off. I'm going to laugh my ass off if that happens. But what I like in that moment, though, is how, you know, you also get, while all this is going on, all the chaos, you know, Raizo, he's going through and he's got the transponder snails and him and Karabu, they got the transponder snails and they're preventing any communication from reaching Kaido at this point. And so it's just like, if this would happen and Kaido would have showed up, it'd have been good night Irene for Luffy. And so it's like, oh, it's giving Luffy a little bit of a backdoor build in, but it's also one of those things where I think it's setting uh, Karabu up to where he can potentially double cross everybody after the fact. Cause I mean, this is a sneaky motherfucker here. So I'm really wondering if, him having those transponder snails is going to come back to bite everybody in the ass later on. Maybe after he grabs a ship and he's able to kind of get on his own, he gives away the location of the straw hats and everybody else. It wouldn't surprise me if you saw something like that unless they're going to keep this dude in a pickle jar somewhere. Like, 
I think that that's one of those things right there to where Oda, once again, was kind of setting up a little bit of foreshadowing there, but I like how, you know, Raizo is just like, hey, you know, uh, Kawamatsu, I'm going to set you free, just hang in there. And while all this is going on, like the actual cell that he was in was actually destroyed during the chaos of all of this kid and his boy, they end up getting actually released from the water prison that they're in. So, I mean, you're seeing a lot of stuff going on here. Like, there's so much that's happening. And it's just like, we're only days away from the actual war taking place. So, the fact that all this crazy shit is happening now, it's like, if this was older recreating Impel Down, but doing it in a way to where the Straw Hats are taking place, the battles that are coming are about to be absolutely insane at this point. Like, they're going to be absolutely insane. Like, there's so much shit. Like, I guess you could kind of slide in Karibu into the role of Crocodile, where just as Crocodile went along with everything Luffy wanted, once everything began to pop off, Crocodile had his own goals as well. I think the Karibu is going to be revealed to have the same thing as well. And so I like how you have these multiple storylines are going on all at the same time. This was this was a good chapter. It was a lot of chaos. But what, what, what I like about what Oda does with chapters like this is Oda is a master of chaos. He has so much shit going on, but it never actually feels like Oda has lost track of everything that's going on. It feels like Oda's still in complete control. Like, it feels like it's carefully managed. And that's one of the things I enjoy about reading One Piece when it gets to some of these wackier and zanier chapters like this. So my chapter question to you guys is, if you weren't already in my camp of Big Mom was putting on a front, were you beginning to think like me that Luffy was going to knock Big Mom sober like how he did Kaido? Or were you still under the impression, like, I kind of still am, that Big Mom's putting on the front? I think I'm more so in the camp now that, you know, she legitimately doesn't have her memories and Luffy's just going to knock her fucking sober in this next battle. I think Luffy's going to knock her out. And that's probably going to piss some people off because it's like, dude, you, you first you said Nami's going to be Big Mom. I know. Since when have I ever claimed to be a fucking power scaler? So, I mean, it is what it is on that. But, like, I think Luffy's probably going to knock her out in some type of a gag moment and... Big Mom's gonna get her memories back. And I think that once that happens, Luffy's in for it. Cause now you got Big Mom and Kaido on this motherfucker, and they know that Luffy's here. So it's just like the enemy and my enemy is my friend. So I really wanna know what you guys think about that. But as so always, guys, if you like anything I have to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Have an awesome day, guys.